Welcome back to another Olive video editing tutorial. In this video, we're going to be looking at some more effects. We're going to be looking at the distort effects. Um, specifically, we're going to be looking at crop, which let, which will let us cut out like a portion of our video or our pictures. Uh, and then we'll be looking at some of these other ones. Basically, we can distort and change around the way our videos and pictures are displayed. So to get into these, we just select a clip that's already in our timeline. And the effect will be applied to the entire clip. We'll just hover over top of this add area, this add video effect, and we'll go down to distort, and we can see all the different distort options that we have here. So the one we're going to play with first is crop. We touched a little bit on that, this one in the last video. When we do that, it brings in these crop options. So I'm going to kind of minimize the transform, and we'll get rid of these audio options as well, at least just minimize them. So we can see right here, and I can bring this over. Can I? Yeah. Whoop. I can bring this over here so we can see what the crop's doing with this video. So we have from the left side, we can crop over and it just creates like, it just cuts out. It's showing black behind there, but that's because there's no other video clip. Just to illustrate what's happening a little bit more clear, if I move these onto their own tracks and then we bring down another video behind it, then we'll see that video is really behind because this we're editing what's on the top video track right now and on the lower video track, is this other part. So while this is selected, the top video, we come over, we can crop the left side and it cuts out that part of the video and shows us what's behind if there's something behind. And so from the left, this is pixels, we're cropping over, is that only 25 pixels? No, it must be percent. Yeah, it's percent, not pixels. So we can crop 50% of the video right there and it crops half of the video out or we can crop over 10% and it'll crop over right there. And then we can crop to the right. So if we want to crop in just my face here, we can crop that. We can crop from the bottom. What we need to remember, though, is there's no tracking happening. So it's if we hit play right now, it's not necessarily going to follow my face. And so uh, we, you know, we may have to readjust this crop when we get to a different part of the video if the subject or the part of your video is not staying constant. So we have to recrop it like this. Um, the feather is going to be the softness of this cropped edge. So we see when we feather, when it's zero, it's like a hard edge right here. When we apply a feather, it kind of blurs that. It makes it a little bit more soft. We can really kind of blur that and kind of make it look a little bit not as, uh, yeah, not as strong. So we can kind of create more of an effect of merging one, one cropped part of a video into another. And then we can also do invert. Let's go back here. So when we do invert, what it'll do is it'll crop out. Uh, it leaves the, the rest of the video intact. And then just the part where we crop, it shows that part through. So it's sort of like the opposite. And so this way, you know, we could create this look a couple different ways. It's almost like this video is on top. So this is the video that's on top right now. And it's showing a window through of what is behind, of what is underneath the video. Uh, we could also create this effect by reversing if we were to move this video up to here uh, and then apply crop to this, we could do that. Which brings me to my next point is that we can copy a crop. So if we copy the settings from this one here, so we select the video that has the crop applied, we go to crop and we come up here and we go right click and go to copy. Well now we've copied this crop effect with the settings that it already has applied, exact all these exact settings to create this uh, window right here. And then we can apply that to the next clip. So we can come up here and apply it. So I'm gonna delete this one. We'll come to this clip that doesn't have anything. Oh, that one does have it cropped. Let me undo, I got confused there. Let's delete this one. So now this video clip does not have a crop. It just has a transform and some of these audio effects, but there's no crop effect. So if we wanna add this into here, we can just right click. We'll right click up here in video effects and go paste. And now it pastes that crop effect with those same settings. So it created a crop window here that's inverted and it's showing like a, a hole here through to the other video track, which there's nothing. It's, that's why it's just showing black right now. So that's copying and that's crop. Let's uh, see what else we can add here. So let's get rid of the crop. We can right click and go to delete. We can also save the settings if we want, just like copy, we can save these settings to its own file. And now we can save it as like a .xml. Um, and so it just saves it. 
all these things so that if we if we have something constantly we're doing maybe like the video you know the picture in picture like i have in this video you can always have a constant template sort of that you just load in from the effects to, to create your picture in picture effect or you can do it for color or something unique adding a watermark to your video or something like that okay um let's add in a, so a couple more of these things under distort. The rest of these are all pretty much the same. So transform, we know. Now we have two transforms. But transform is the one that lets us scale and move around the position uh, and change the opacity a little bit of our video. So we're not going to play with that one too much. But uh, the rest of these are doing a similar thing. Let me get rid of this uh, crop. Well, we can leave it. We can just uncheck this box, which means it's as if it's not there, but it is there if we want it to be. Uh, we'll add in, and I'm just going to let you go through and play with these. I'm not going to do them all, but if we do bulge, it creates a bulge here, and there's like a couple settings we can change how much it's bulging that video, and where's the center of the bulge happening. Uh, if we delete that, we can go to um, fisheye, which is kind of similar to the bulge. It creates this fisheye type look. We can delete that, right-click delete. What else can we add? We can do, oh, the shake's kind of interesting. Maybe we'll cover that one a little bit later swirl you just can create this swirl we can change the radius of it and also the angle that's happening like how s severe the swirl is i thought we could do size of it how come we can't do size that's kind of strange mm, maybe the size is part of the oh oh that yeah the radius is the size i'm sorry the radius is the size of the swirl and then the angle is the strength kind of of how much it twists um and i don't know you know, probably wouldn't use that one too much, huh? Um, let's look at the shake and see, though. Uh, so the rest of these, play with all these. They all kind of do a similar thing, but the shake is kind of different. What the shake is going to do is shake our video. Going just like this. We can't see it too much, but if we turn up the frequency a lot and we turn up this rotation, then it sort of shakes our video like we're holding a shaky camera. And so there's times when you'd want to do that if you're doing an effect, like there's an earthquake or something, you can kind of create an effect like that. Or there's times when you want to, if you're doing like an animation, you get a, a little, a character on a green screen and you want to have them shaking and like as they're moving, you can create a look like that. So the shake's kind of different than some of the rest of these as well. But that's the distort. Oh, and then corner pin, we, we'll play with completely separate too. The rest of these are all pretty self-explanatory. Flip is going to flip the video. Um, sphere is going to create like a make it look like it's in a circle and we can change uh, some of the different um, options for that as well the size of it and where the center is so you can do some really cool things especially once we get into key framing and and so we can animate some of these effects and do some kind of interesting things with these but i'm gonna leave the video there play with the distort tools under effects uh, leave your questions or comments below if you have any or share some of the fun things that you like to do with distort effects and we'll catch you in the next video.